Hello fellow amateur radio operators. This here is my Bofang box that I've been using for quite a while here. Not in here I have my QSL cards for storage and it's gotten a bit small so it's time to upgrade to something better. And since I have a 3D printer I thought I'm gonna print a box for QSL cards. So I grabbed the patch G filament here in the PUSA printer and printed a nice box and this is the box that came out of it. It's actually quite a neat green, translucent. Unfortunately there are a couple of spots from a prior filling material that I didn't clean out quite well. And this box is quite sturdy. It's printed 1.5 millimeter thick. The lid fits on it great. It doesn't fall down. And let's put the QSL cards in here. So right there we have the stack of QSL cards and they fit beautifully right in the box and a little down. So let's grab the next stack and why doesn't that go in? What's going on here? Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's something that frustrates some QSL card collectors is that not all cards are the standard size, the five and a half by three and a half. Instead, this is a postcard size that would be six inches by four inches. So even though this box here is perfectly made for QSL cards, if you have bigger ones, they won't fit. So I went ahead and printed the same box again, just slightly bigger, for postcard size. And this here is a nice, not quite so translucent, but still a nice material, also PET G printed. And it's just basically the dimensions are larger. So now I can go ahead and put in the cards just fine, even if they are bigger. And that's not everything yet. These cards here are for the 3905 Century Club. So I went ahead and printed this box right here. This 3905 Century Club printed in front, raised on there. So it looks very beautiful. This here is not patchy, that's PLA. Uh, right, this material. And that printed wonderfully as well, and it's just as sturdy as the patch G here. Can't really tell too much difference, so I'm really happy still with that box as well. And along with the box, I printed some dividers here. Because the Century Club has different nets on different bands, and you can get a valves on each of the, the bands. So I created those dividers to divide up the QSL cards for what I got them. So if you look closely here, right there on the tab, if it ever focuses, right there, it says 20 meters. Can't see too great. And so then I have a 40 meters one, 80 meter. I have digital for ready and PSK right there. Again, focus problems. And of course, my all favorite 160 meter. That is the band where I got my first award and became a Century Club member. So I'm Still really happy about that band, really enjoy working with it. So now I can go ahead and put these cards in there. So what I have done in the past, right there is the 80 meters, they're all together in this paper wrapper, so I can get rid of that finally. And I can put in the card and put in the 80 meter index right here.
tiny bit too light. There's the 160. So I can go ahead and fill this up. All the other cards. So here we have the 160. And left some cards in here. And then one red, this one to the forty meter one. Let's grab the forty meter. And twenty meter. Getting fewer here in the high bands. And then a few cards of the digital. I think there are some cards that I haven't quite sorted out right. So I have to go through and sort them a little bit nicer. But that's a box. We can put on the lid. And it's very nice and sturdy. They are smooth. The, re the lettering doesn't come full up than the lid so it's easy to stack them and they don't take too much space away if I get a lot of them. So a little bit about the printing. So this is the Prusa printer that I used and the patch G was printed on the a texture board right over here and that worked great I put on plexiglass sheet right in front of it and kept it nice and warm in here it printed about um, 43 degrees was in there while it printed and it came out right perfect from the beginning then I switched over to uh, PLA and totally forgot about my settings and it took me a while so the first was where it printed that's the bottom and then it fell on the ground and it's continued printing that nice little bird nest here <laughs> and the reason for that is it's uh, the box does take for the big pile that takes about 15 hours to print and then the lid a uh, few hours too. The index dividers are exactly an hour each. Uh, possibly you can speed it up. I haven't ex experimented with that too much yet. So it definitely takes some printing time. And again, another case where this one I stopped ca caught quite early on. One of the edges was coming up and I knew that's gonna be a failure because it wasn't adhesing to it very well. Um, so a couple things that I found out that was with the PLA, one is on the textured board, it just didn't stick very well. The other problem that I had, one time I was running it with the enclosure closed and the light on, and I think it got too hot or so. The filament got uh, stuck right in here and it wouldn't come all the way out. And I had to really clean up that extruder tube. and really work on that to get the filament out. Uh, what really does work is um, cleaning up the sheet very well. So use soap and then finish it off with the alcohol wipe. And then I found out that if you keep the temperature a bit higher is much better as well. Um, so I did close this lid here again. I didn't turn on the light and just let the printer run and the temperature right here was going up to uh, 34 degrees celsius and that seemed to be just perfect for the box and i didn't have any problems with it do it doing it that way so you definitely want to have a little bit of temperature but not too much on printing it uh, the settings um so this is the standard nozzle, the 0.4. Um, what was the settings called? It was uh, 0.2, I think, with it, and on fast, not on the quality high. 
uh, at, in the beginning I made the, the first one I made quality high there's not really that much difference between that and you knock out down an hour or two if you go with fast so yeah if you want to print these boxes I'll make them available for download and you can print them yourself there should be a link right with the video. So here you're on the air.